Welcome back to some Sonic Project 06 speedrunning, where today we are doing our silver any percent de-rust. I'm currently running against my average segments, um, so if it looks like I'm on PB pace, I'm actually not, unless I say I am by some miracle after <laughs> not playing Silver Story in an extremely long time in Project 06. Um, you're watching this right now on the Stelmo Show, where if you scroll down just a little bit, of course, you can hit that like and subscribe, but also... You can hit the first link in the description to check me out every Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. CST. If you don't know when that is in your time zone, I got you covered with the third link in the description that'll send you over to an automatically time zone adjusted stream schedule for you. And the second link will send you over to my main channel where I do a lot of like more scripted stuff and collaborations with other YouTubers. So you can check out some videos there, including a brand new one on Shadow Generations. But... For now, sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll throw it back over to Stelmo. Oh my goodness, here we are in Silver's Any Percent. I was able to get some practice in yesterday, so hopefully this is gonna go well, but who knows. <laughs> Silver's run is pretty short, so we'll see. Um, all right, that's, that's how we're rolling today. <laughs> Gonna run it, of course, because it's more important, important right now for me to finish runs than reset them. Those effects look good? They do. I'm not even running the game on max settings either. Okay. Works for me. Oh no, we're gonna be so positive out of this state. What a surprise. This whole area is destroyed. Let's do this quickly. Please, watch out for things flying out of the tornado. Great, good. 43 IL time, but... Obviously losing 16 seconds to not knowing how to enter a window. Yo, nice. Each you, that's awesome. And are you guys excited for the Sonic X Silver Generations that's coming? Uh, like that would ever happen. I can't grab Vulcan cannon shots, but I can block them with my psychokinesis. I feel like there's a better way to do that. Maybe I can grab both of the boxes and throw it at the wall instead. If I can hit that ball with this. I haven't played the silver part of PO6. Well, I would definitely say you're missing out. Oh, uh, he's in forces. Yo, good one, Wolfbeat. <laughs> that was easy. You're missing in? Hmm. Do 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 do. So far we get luminous forest, yeah. Just you wait, Iblis Trigger. I can use my psychokinesis to grab that robot bomb and throw them. Is Luminous Forest actually beatable with one hand? I didn't know that. Like, do you not have to use the control stick at all? Or is it the other way around? Wow, that's amazing. I always did like the music in general vibe of that zone. Wait, straight up, you can just hold X and you win? That's pretty incredible. Well, I'll give that Green Hill Zone in Generations is also um, stage one, whereas what Luminous Forest is like six or seven stages into Forces, I think. Maybe it's earlier than that. I think like Sunset Heights is stage 11. Shh. 
shadow from wish.com. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I did enjoy the few times that there were, uh... What is it? I think Oats and Goats and Sweet Num did a Super Metroid run where it was two-player, one controller. Those are always fun to watch. More for the banter between the two people than the actual... <laughs> ...accomplishment of doing it as two-player, two one controller. But what we really need is a two-player, one controller where one player has the top half and the other player has the bottom half instead of left and right. That's the money maker right there. In mod view to Android? I mean, you don't have to watch the stream in mod view. You can still enable mod icons in chat and stuff. Usual pie? I'm surprised you're here. Welcome to the stream. It's going great, man. I'm, uh, I'm having a blast. I mean, I'm now streaming during my best time of the day, which is 9 to noon. Eggman's base is ahead. Let's hurry. All right. yeah. Dunk predict the one time you dunked, and it was worth it. I'm sure. He was six of my controllers split in half. That'd be something. Three players, three characters. Yeah, that would be interesting. Rail grinding would be quite difficult. What's up, Volt? Yep, a silver speed run where I died in Crisis City, but we're still trucking. <laughs> and that's the important thing. Where is the, entrance to Eggman's base? the intentions of these runs are for me to refamiliarize myself with this game. <laughs> Security's tight. You don't want to be discovered. And then, uh... Well, I guess it depends on what the... On the Sacer, because I did submit Project 06 to Sacer, which will determine what category we'll grind once the games list comes out for that. Sacer, if you don't know, is the Sonic Adventure era speedrun marathon. It's going to be December 13th through 15th, I think. And I submitted all stories any percent, Sonic 100%, and also Sonic any percent, I think. Great. Good. Because I do, I do want to hopefully, I hope that they take SAESR, Sonic Adventure Era speedrunning. That was easy. Um, oh gosh, what was I saying? I do hope to do Sonic's 100% because Sonic's 100% hasn't been done yet. Uh, for a marathon, and I do plan on submitting Sonic's 100% to SDDQ. There's no other way ahead. I guess I've got to break down the door. I can't grab lasers with my psychokinesis. It looks like I can only avoid them. Hey. So when the movie DLC comes out? Well, I mean, don't worry. I'll be playing the movie DLC, too. The movie DLC comes out the 12th, right? So we'll be able to play it that morning and then Thursday as well. I probably won't be doing the run. I'll be doing the run in the evening. So... It's the skin and a um and a level. It's like based on Tokyo from the movie or something. The movie that won't be out by the time the DLC comes out. I think. I don't know when the movie comes out. I don't know if it's going to be like an Act 1 or Act 2 or how it's going to work. But uh, I'll be excited to see because, I mean, if the DLC level is the same quality as the regular levels, then 
It'll be uh, great, hopefully. If you can't play Movie Shadow out of DLC, you mean without the DLC? Uh, you probably won't. Considering that's probably the main purchasing point of the DLC is to get Shadow and the Keanu. That would be very strange if you couldn't play as Movie Shadow in the entire game. I imagine it'll just be a skin like Tyrios is. And if not, I imagine that literally an hour after the DLC comes out, someone will make a mod to patch it that way. So close. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Hello, Sonic Kid. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Currently doing a silver D-Rust run here. Folks seem to have reacted positively to wanting to see the, like, the PO6 runs. It may just be something I do, especially when we're grinding, like, Sonic any percent and stuff. Is just, uh, taking the best run of the day and uploading it. I've never used the Tyrio skin because I think it looks bad. <clears throat> Like, the quills look really bad, and he skates despite not having hover shoes. Is this 3D in my 3D Sonic game? Get the hell out of here. Wow, did that one knife take care of all those enemies? I think it did. So the game needs more sales, yes. All of the sales. Nice, sounds like fun. I think it's less, um... Like, it's... It's that one, the quills just look terrible. <laughs> Like, and he doesn't have special animations, even though he doesn't hover, is more what I mean. Like, he very much is a character that looks like he's meant to run on the ground, but it's just a skin, so they just use Shadow's animations, even though it doesn't fit for the character. Like, there are some Tyrios fix mods, but I don't know if there's, like, a Tyrios movement. Uh, fix mod. That makes it to where he runs on the ground. But I'll probably give it a, a look-see if a mod appears like that. I have not played Last of Us, no. It's mostly story, which isn't what I look for in video games, so I don't bother with it. Oh, there is? I'll take a look at it then, because I think there's an improved Tyrios mod that I really like. He at least swapped him out. Yeah, exactly. Them making his own running animation would have been great, too, because it would have worked really well for Sonic. Uh, for the Sonic mod. But they have to make their own. Castle Skip Pog! Let's go. Thanks for the pogs, Malik. I appreciate it. Why the SA2 government mistook Shadow for Sonic? Um, I think of it in the exact same way that, like, Sora and Roxas are meant to look the same in Kingdom Hearts. It's what the story needs. Bunch of stuff just popped up. Do, 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 do. I'm glad you're able to find some help, Force that loop. The ground here 
is unstable with lava. It's probably because of him. I'll take care of this. I mean, Shadow also has Sonic eyes and general face shape. I mean, they're a different color, but... is mad. Say he was too fast? Well, I mean, in Adventure 2's story, they get a clear shot of him on, uh, <laughs> on top of the Radical Highway Bridge, so, yeah. It's because that's what they needed for the story. I like the interpretation of that, that when the story was written, they were still using the more Tyrios design for Shadow rather than the final thing, which looks a lot more like Sonic than Shadow does, despite them still looking similar. But it's all headcanon. The answer is that the story needed it. What is that thing? Silver? That's right, Matios. Right, yeah, that's why I said. My favorite Sonic character design? Okay, let's move on. Like of any of the characters or of Sonic specifically? Any of them? Um, I'll have to get closer. I really like how Sonic looks in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I like how Shadow looks in 06. Um, I like how Tails looks in Mania. Tail, actually, Tail, Sonic Mania Tails is my favorite, probably. His flying animation specifically looks extremely satisfying. The Sonic Advance sprites are also incredibly good, too. Agreed. Miles per hour. No, it's miles per hour. <laughs> the Ibis Trigger. A blue hedgehog. Can it be true? I need to find silver fast. Mania is hard because it's really hard to play Mania without the drop dash. It's actually like one of the few things I think Superstars does better than Mania. Is that Mania's level design feels extremely built around the drop dash. Whereas Superstars feels more even toward all the characters. I actually like the idea of all the characters being able to use the elemental shields while Sonic has the drop dash specifically because the drop dash is so good. The sunset? It's actually sunrise, super. Uh, wave ocean shadow is at sunset. Even though I guess in terms of the level, the sun's actually in the west instead of the east, but... I don't think the cardinal directions really matter too much. Modern Sonic with the drop dash? I mean, it's fun. As long as they don't make the input ass cheeks. 
Or if you mean specifically in generations, I recommend checking out my video on that. Yo, 1830? That's a banger for D-Rust run. Let's go. YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one uh, with either PO6 or Shadow Gens, whichever one it's going to be. Peace.